Uno, the new NBA, it is now. We got a lot of the young guys in this playoff. It's going to show us a lot about SGA. We're going to learn a lot about Ann Edwards. We're going to learn a lot about these young guys. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me. But when's the last time we had a playoff without LeBron, Curry, and Durant? There's a realistic chance, depending on how this plays out with the play and everything, that we could actually miss two out of three, one out of three. But... At the same time, the NBA is eventually going to have to move on, and maybe we're headed towards that. Dose, Rudy Gobert. Yes, Rudy should be the defensive player of the year. I know there's been a big campaign for Wimby. Wimby's balled out. He did his thing. And let's keep it a buck. I expect Wimby to win a minimum, and I mean very minimum, of at least three defensive player of the year in his career. But this ain't the time. This team right now, not good. The defense wasn't great. Rudy, on the other hand, played on the best defensive team of the year. He's one of the top five defensive rated players in the league, and that's why the Minnesota Timberwolves are one of the top seeds. So to not give him that this year just because Wimby's the new trendy thing, it ain't right. Give Rudy that award. Trust me, Wimby will get his. Tress, let's cross our fingers. I know it's a little bit early, and I know there are going to be injuries as part of the game, but every year we end up getting to the playoffs, there's injuries, and we're like, damn, only if this guy would have played. Giannis did whatever he did, and it wasn't an Achilles injury, he dodged it, but I remember that happened to Durant, and next thing we knew, Durant was having a kid's injury. So we don't want to see that. We've already had Julius Randle ruled out. We don't really know the status of Embiid's health. Let's pray that we get the healthiest playoffs possible this year.